The world is incredibly big. In fact, only our Milky Way is very big, and it's only a portion of the visible universe. There are travel plans to other planets, but what's most difficult for scientists to carry out these expeditions is planning how to get to a distant place. But perhaps this can change. In this video, I will show you how, by accident, a warp bubble was discovered, with which, in the future, we'll be able to travel these incredible distances in seconds. So, don't take your eyes off the screen. In minutes, we're going to see this amazing discovery. The theory of general relativity that Albert Einstein published in 1915 establishes, among many other ideas that were revolutionary at the time, that no object with mass can move through the space-time continuum faster than the speed of light. To achieve this, very roughly, you would need to have an infinite amount of energy. This could change at some point. Pay attention to what I say next. Scientists appear to have created something previously unthinkable, if not impossible. An artificial warp bubble, which could lead to long-distance trips and minutes in the future. Literally millions of things could be done with this invention. Speculated that you could travel faster than light without violating Einstein's special theory of relativity. The funny thing is that this project was discovered by accident, as the team was working on a different project when they came across this incredible discovery. The original project was in charge of evaluating the possibility of extracting energy from a phenomenon called the Casimir cavity. This effect describes the attraction between metallic objects separated by a very small distance between them. According to quantum field theory, there are fluctuations in the quantum vacuum within that distance caused by the imbalance of the vibrational modes of these metallic elements. This imbalance, this measurable force, is not gravitational, and it causes the plates to move closer together. In one of the experiments to carry out with this theory, the experts realized something incredible. Scientist Harold G. Sonny White, warp drive pioneer and former NASA warp drive specialist, has made this milestone discovery of a real-world warp bubble. According to White, the first preview of the Limitless Space Institute team sets a new starting point for those trying to build a full-size space-time warping spacecraft. This acclaimed scientist affirms that this discovery was totally accidental. And, as he commented later, in carrying out an analysis related to a DARPA-funded project to evaluate the possible structure of the energy density present in a Casimir cavity, such as a dynamical vacuum model predicts, a micro-slash-nanoscale structure has been discovered that predicts a negative energy density distribution that closely matches the requirements of the Alcubierre metric. The physicist Sonny White confirmed that they were able to detect a real warp bubble. Obviously, the possibilities of recreating it to a degree so that a fairly large object can be inserted and the necessary tests can be carried out are far from our time. But it's not something impossible because investigations are being carried out in this regard, and if a tiny warp bubble is detected, there's a chance that one can be created on a human scale. But first, tests must be carried out with the resistant materials and the energy needed to make it work. All that must be calculated. Can you imagine traveling from one country to another just by entering this bubble? But before continuing, surely you're wondering, what is a warp bubble? The curvature bubble would be located in one of the distortions of space-time, on which it would ride in a similar way to how surfers ride waves on the sea. But first, to perform these trips, a warp engine must be created to be able to do them, something like what actually happens in the Star Trek series on multiple occasions. The reality is that generating this type of technology is only speculation, due both to current technological limitations and to the enormous amount of energy required for its development, which in some equations would be greater than all of the energy contained in the universe. In 2012, some NASA scientists announced that they were working on the feasibility of a warp travel device, on a small scale and in the laboratory, which, although doing it on a larger scale is complex, at least perhaps in this century it could be feasible on a smaller scale. However. Recent research from the University of Göttingen, Germany, offers an alternative, relying on positive rather than negative mass. As physicist Eric Lenz hypothesized that layered rings and the risks of extremely dense fluid could also form the warp bubble. Referring to the warp bubble, Dr. White went on to comment that 
We could examine the optical properties as a result of these small nanometer scale warp bubbles. By adding a large number of them in a row, we can increase the magnitude to the effect that we can see and study it. Such tiny tests are being planned, but this time with a 1 micron diameter nanoscopic craft located in the center of a 4 micron diameter cylinder. It is really very small, almost undetectable to the naked eye. This investigation doesn't give any more information to the press, since it could eventually be classified as confidential by the Pentagon, which gives us the pattern that it could be a feasible project. While NASA is still working on the theory, Elon Musk is trying to turn it into a practical reality. So Musk's efforts to go to Mars this decade are moving forward. So the SpaceX founder is actively discussing warp drive as a way to make travel to the Red Planet more feasible. Which both efforts by NASA and by Elon Musk, who wants to get to Mars as soon as possible, could speed up the process. So what is the present state of this project? First, to carry out more in-depth research on warp bubbles, scientists have to first carry out the original research by DARPA. And then they'll have to try the research on creating that ultra-small ship which I told you about earlier. And which, to develop a technology on that small of a scale, that is something quite difficult to do. Again, not impossible though. And as a last point, the energy supply necessary to carry out the project has to be found so that parallel tests and experiments can be carried out in alternative energies that can be generated. If all goes well, then we could definitely talk about doing some real tests, but there's still a lot of time to get everything right, and so many projects that need to be done. I wonder what's going to get done first, this experiment or the arrival of humans on Mars. But now it's your turn. <laughs> Do you think that this project's going to be carried out? Would you like to travel in a warp bubble? Leave me your opinions down below in the comments, and if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more similar videos, and activate that notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when we upload a new video. Don't miss it. You won't regret it.